I'm Corky Lang. I was born in 1948, Montreal, Canada. I am a musician. My idea of perfect happiness, and this is the kind of happiness I can actually experience, is Sunday morning with the New York Sunday Times, a nice hot cup of coffee, and a comfortable seat, and a wonderful person to be with. When I think about it, my greatest fear is being locked up somewhere, being, being chained down, being, I'm claustrophobic, and that along with the, uh, the thought of not being able to move freely, the thought of not being able to think freely, freedom, the lack of freedom is my greatest fear. If I was to choose one person right now that I, that I admire, comes to the top of my, top of my head, uh, it would be Levon Helm. He's a musician, drummer, singer, artist, uh, actor. He's a wonderful gentleman, and I admire him for, his, for his, his way of life. The most overrated virtue is patience. I think patience is ridiculous. I mean, the fact is, if everybody starts being too patient, we're not going to go anywhere. Everybody's just going to be patient, patient, and they'll be holding back, and they'll be holding back, and nothing will get done in this world. I would say right now, this moment, these moments, these days, these are the moments. I just want more of the same. I am very happy right now with my life and how I'm living it and who I'm living it with and who I'm sharing, who I'm sharing these times. And I must say, these are the moments. I like to think I lie all the time. To a certain extent, I think I bullshitted myself right through life to this extent, and um, it's become so, my lies have become so good that they're true now. I would love to play keyboards. I would love to learn how to play piano and really uh, work my fingers. I have very, I have no control of my fingers, and I think it would be a great exercise to, um, to learn how to play piano and to, to be able to voice that many melodies, you know, in one stroke with your hands. I am excessive about nothing. Everything is full tilt, but I don't think I'm excessive. I just think I just try to get everything in in a split second to move on to the next thing. I don't think that's excessive. I don't know what excessive is. I just live full tilt, and if that's excessive, I'm excessive about everything. But again, um, I don't overdo anything. I overdo everything. I keep on moving pretty quickly, so I don't know that I have a favorite distraction. I wouldn't know if I noticed a distraction. These days, everything moves so fast. There's so much information bouncing off your ears and your eyes, and I don't know if they're distractions. It's just part of life, and I would not necessarily notice it. I am challenged by every day sorting out the crap from what I have to do. There's so many things to wake up, and every day there's more information, there's more things coming your way, whether you like it or not. You know, I'm challenged by the bummers that, you know, knock on your door and say, hi, I'm your bummer for today. And that's a challenge, because you know something's gonna come around the corner and smack you in the head. So I must say, I am challenged just by everyday living. I like it, I love it, but it's a challenge. I was sitting in Nantucket, uh, Woodstock had just, had just come, was just coming on that summer, and I just remember that was my last year of college, and I had to complete one more exam, and I wrote the exam in Nantucket, even though I was going to university in Montreal. I remember what happened was I went to New York to play, and I was asked to join in with Felix and Leslie. At that point, I knew I was going to leave school where it was, I did the four years of college, and it was a perfect timing for me. I said, no, I'm not gonna go back to school. I'm gonna go on the road and see what it's like to be a musician, real, you know, real musician working. At the time, I was part-time. I was going to college and playing on the side in a local band, but this was gonna be an international band. That was the sense of it, so I gave it a good old-fashioned college try. I went right into music. 
You know what I really love? I really love, I love performing. Simple, boom, cut to the chase. I love getting on stage behind a drum kit and performing. Number one, because a drum kit makes me look good. Because you can, you will not ever, you will never ever see a drum set that's not beautiful. Every drum set is beautiful. So when you sit behind it, you can't help but feel beautiful. In my life, a lot of what I do is who I play with. And as a drummer, I've been very fortunate to play with the very, very best, and uh, I just want to keep on doing that. It's a small step from the limo to the gutter. Watch where you're going.